Hi, my name is Jody. I'm a clinical pharmacist at Save On Foods Pharmacy. Today, we'll be demonstrating the rapid response, rapid antigen test. Before starting the test, make sure you clean the surface and to clean your hands. So there are five test kits in each package and I'm going to show you all the supplies. So we have a test tube rack, one sterile nasal swab. We also have a demo guide here. We have one buffer ampule, we have an extraction tube, and a nozzle piece. And we also have a testing device in the packaging. So now I'm going to put the buffer liquid inside the extraction tube. You can open this by twisting the top. Now we're going to do the nasal swab. To the nasal swab, we're going to open up the packaging here and we're going to rotate in each nostril for five seconds. And after that, we're going to trap the nasal swab by pressing the nostril for another five seconds. Now you want to insert the nasal swab into the extraction tube with the buffer liquid inside. We're going to swirl it for a couple of times. And you want to trap the nasal swab inside by compressing the extraction tube for around 10 to 15 times like this. You want to let this sit for two minutes in the test tube rack. You want to make sure you get all the liquid outside of the nasal swab by pressing on the extraction tube to squeeze out all the liquid. And now you can put the nasal swab into the garbage can. You want to put the nozzle cap onto the extraction tube. You want to open up the package of the test device. So in the test device, the circle part represents the sample well where you will be dropping the liquid. And this panel right here will show you the test of a positive or negative result. You're going to grab your extraction tube with the nozzle on top and drop three drops into the test device. So now we have to let the test sit and run for 15 minutes. During this period, it's very important to not touch the test device or it might give you inaccurate results. To interpret the results after 15 minutes, you would see a letter C and a letter T. One line at C means that it is a negative result. When you see two lines, so a line at C and T, that means it is a positive result. Invalid results might be where there are no lines or there is only one line at T and you would need to complete a new test. And that's how you would complete the rapid antigen test. Thanks for listening.